This is underneath your villa. <laughs> wow. He's wrestling a horse. Oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Time for breakfast. I'm running behind. I heard, I heard more voices. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh. Uh, anyway, so I uh, I was up very late. Hello. Good morning. Super duper late and um, editing. Only on a few hours sleep again. But today's a really, really big day. Uh, breakfast first, but you'll see. It's gonna be a really crazy day. Well, you have American breakfast? What? Yes, sir, but it's only big rocks at Dog and Ham. No bacon. Right, okay. Sir, big uh, choices of toast bread or rice, sir. Oh, toast. Toast bread. Yeah. yeah, no, uh, no rice. For no me. Reason, yeah. Canadian. So today. There's a bit of a lots of plans going on that where they're changing like instantly. They're gonna take me down to show me the beach life here. Three really nice places all along there. One of them is interesting. This one place. I don't want to spoil it yet. I spent 13,000 pesos or something like that, 13,500 pesos to stay there one time. But it couldn't go through with it. And the reason was um, because we had a rental car problem where it was a scam. And uh, we couldn't get there. There was like no buses to get there, that kind of thing. And uh, so, yeah. So the night stay that we were supposed to be there was a little over 13,000 pesos. And I had already prepaid, so... I was out that money. So, today, I get to go there. Not, not overnight, that's fine. But I'll be driven there at least, and I'll be able to show you guys, because it's like another world within the Philippines. Like you're somewhere else, that kind of thing. It's gonna be really interesting. And look who it is. This is Angie, she's gonna show me around today. I'm looking forward to it, she works for tourism as well. And, uh, but you do more heritage stuff normally. Uh, normally I do the historical tours, yeah. but we've done that yesterday. So yeah. today we're, we're going to show that. you more of the hotels and resorts uh, by the beach area. Nobody, nobody minds that, right? Who, who doesn't love beaches? Okay, my friend, thank hey, you very thank much you for everything. Thank you very much. And uh, we're off. There's our driver again. Please thank take you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't, hang on, hang on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. you. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Big heart. Uh, thank you. Uh, big heart. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Sir, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Off we go. And by the way, where we're going today is only about 45 minutes. Is that what you said? 45 minutes? Yes, 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. minutes from the city center uh, to out to these beautiful areas where they have beautiful beaches and everything. Uh, big shout out to the guys there at Crown Royal. Uh, right by the Capitol, you can't miss it. They, that was so cool of them to give me that crazy upgrade, right? Um, but yeah, tonight I will be staying, staying down by the beach and uh, we'll go from there, but big shout out to all of them. The staff are amazing. All right, this is where we're going. Bagak Bataan. So this is where they're gonna have multiple resorts all the way down here. And when we were driving into here, that we did see a lot of uh, very nice, beautiful homes. And she was telling me that uh, it was Americans that own it and they just live here part-time. They go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, very, very nice houses though. But there's, there's a big expat community out this way for obvious reasons that it's anywhere from for where we're gonna go today, 30 to 45 minutes from Subic Bay. So not that far away, you can have that, uh, really peaceful, quiet, beautiful beach light type of life and still drive up to Subic and, you know, go to your favorite American steakhouse, that kind of thing if you really need to. Um, so part of this uh, province though, um, and this is where I wasn't sure about this, so Alangapo and Subic Bay itself are not in this province, but the Freeport area is a part of this uh, province. So a little more of the military history here. So this is the Friendship Tower built by the Japanese 
you know, obviously, um, much like an apology sort of thing for the devastation they might have killed out this way, because, uh, you know, there are markers all over here for the death march. And uh, so it's a very interesting, and there's a great deal of history in here, and there's a bell in the middle of it, Japanese bell. One of the uh, products that are out here that is quite famous here is cashews. This is area is perfect for cashews, and so cashews is a big market here. She wants to show me some of it. We're getting to the resorts, I promise. Good morning, how are you? How are you? Are you the, the cashew queen? No. No? Are you the cashew queen? No. No? Or cashew princesses? I don't know. You can call it whatever you like. And they got, of course, banana crackers. But uh, the main thing is these cashews, which is very, 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 very close to all of them here. And you can get your own splitter here. So here you go. This is where Kilometer Zero started of the Death March. Another interesting thing about the history of this area. And uh, after that, they went all the way up, uh, basically near Angeli City, right? Just it ended near Angeli City? Uh, San Fernando. San Fernando, okay, in San Fernando. And then they had to walk, they were loaded into trains and then they were, they had to walk again eight kilometers to come uh, O'Donnell, which wow. is now a national shrine. Get ready for one of the most incredible, wow, incredible, I did not expect this, uh, resorts you could ever imagine. This is the mountain resort, okay? We're not at the beaches yet. Uh, this is the first one. And look, look at this. I am just blown away. It is like you just set foot into a little bit of Rome or France. Yeah, because I think I see Napoleon up there. So maybe this is a French uh, thing here. Wow, I'm absolutely astounded by this place. Good old Napoleon. Wow. Look at this. This is so nice. You haven't seen anything yet. Sir. What, really? How, how is this <laughs> nothing better yet? Inside. Much better inside, wow, okay. Once you've seen the villa, it will be like, like seeing the villa of luxury. To the right, okay. Uh, we're waiting for the golf cart, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Or we can simply walk up. It's up to you, oh, there's golf carts, golf carts. Oh, okay. Well, hello, there we go. <laughs> Good morning. Magandan uh, Omaga. Magandan Omaga. Omaga. Fantastic. Whatever. It's all good, it's all good. I forgot. I could have went in the front. So nice. <laughs> well, that was a dr long drive, long drive. Look, look at this.
like everything hand painted ceilings walls incredible absolutely incredible oh you weren't kidding you weren't kidding hello thank you so much this is incredible nobody nobody even warned me what it was gonna look like I'm glad you didn't because I got shocked I got I got unbelievably shocked by this the detail in there every single square millimeter of this place say that again local women did yeah. the artwork here amazing that's that's incredible Morning. Good morning. How are you? We're good. Fantastic. Uh, welcome to Rancho Bernardes. How old is this resort? Oh, it's um, like two years. Two years. Two? Yeah. two to three years. Okay. Yes. Wow. Incredible. How long did it take to build, though? That's the key. It probably took a long time. Yep. Yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. Yep. This is definitely a labor of a lot of love. Um, and just the fact that look every little corner every little detail is covered in this place I don't see a single flat plain wall <laughs> or ceiling anywhere in here I'm actually really astounded by this this is incredible all right what am I gonna go look at first <laughs> wow. Oh, I can just imagine the weddings. It must be so popular here for weddings, for sure. Celebrities have come here to do their... Celebrities? No joke. No joke. I can imagine every celebrity wanting this. <laughs> what? Look at that. And beautiful views straight out to the mountains here, rice fields. Really, really, really beautiful. I have a feeling if your wives are watching right now, don't let them watch anymore because they are going to be like, mm, uh, I haven't been taken there yet. Look at this. Once again, this location is 45 minutes south of Subic Bay. So you can get here pretty easily and check out this place for yourself. My gosh. All right, new newlyweds or almost newlyweds, I should say. You're going to have your weddings here because do not show this video to your fiancés if you can't afford this because she's not going to allow you to get married anywhere else. This is the only place they're going to want to get, it, get uh, married and have the reception. Wow, oh, there's so much more outside. I can't wait to go see it all. Let's go see more. More. Look at my limo driver here. Very nice, very nice. see so many of these beautiful villas in different spots here. A lot of them seem to have really nice views. Also here we have the chapel service. We use that for the weddings. Okay. So you can get married here and have your reception here at the same time. The grounds here is so incredible. Okay, up there. Yep. And now we're gonna check the one of the biggest villas. What do you? What's the name of the villa? Oh, it's Monarch Villa. Monarch Villa. Okay, I get to see the very biggest villa. And you keep expanding. It looks like you're getting bigger. Yes. Oh wow. Well, actually, um, that. Part, oh my God! Look at this. Yes. Keep going. We have yeah. aquarium under the villas. There's there's an aquarium koi fish. of koi fish yes. underneath the villa. Yep. So here, the part <laughs> is we'll developing uh, for a resto bar. A resto bar, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> this, is, this is impressive, very impressive. Okay, see all this dirt here, right? And they're, they're excavating right up at the top there. They're building a whole subdivision here for those who want to live 
within basically the resort. They're just gonna have a, a community inside this whole area. So very premium. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Okay, so this villa is one of the villas that we're gonna show right now, and I believe it is the largest. This is the largest one? Yes. The largest one. Wow, look at that. I have to go down first before I go up. Because mm -hmm. look at this. Hey, good morning, good morning. Maganda Omaga. This is underneath your villa. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. And of course you have your own pool here and it's got its own waterfall. He's just cleaning it right now, but you see there's a waterfall feature that goes on the side of it. Your own privacy straight across. Okay, so apparently this is a smart home type thing. Hi Alexa, I'm home. Alexa's sleeping. <laughs> Oh! Welcome to your grand villa, Louis the Thirteenth. I am Alexa, your virtual assistant. Enjoy, relax, and have an amazing stay. Did you see that? The curtains are opening up for you. Everything turned on. All the lights turned on. TV turned on. And you have your own... Oh my god, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so you have your own bar here. Your own coffee, cappuccino coffee maker with the capsules and everything oh he's telling it to do okay. something else oh wow if you tell it to do more things it just opens everything oh there it is there now the waterfall is going closet space here absolutely stunning bathroom my goodness it's not my phone, by the way. Somebody else's phone keeps going off. You have a sauna. What? You have your own dry sauna. Look at this shower. It's like a smart shower. So with all the lights, everything, different shower heads. Even the ones that shoot out towards you here. Yeah, these. Well, I think they call them the dream shower. I would call it the dream shower. Wow. You have a smart toilet. Yes, it is. It is a smart toilet. Does it sing to you? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it sings to you. And, uh, oh, look at that. Everything is automated in here. So you just press the button and it flipped and now opening. You have a beautiful tub here that I could even fit in, which is impressive because that thing is almost, it's about five foot eight, something like that. So you don't have to bend your knees slightly. That's huge. Oh, they got even a smart mirror here. Tells you the temperature outside right now, 34 degrees, by the way. Uh, it's got music, lighting, separate li ring lights for each person. <laughs> Look how extraordinary this place is. And there you go, this beautiful view. Wow, unbelievable. All right, let's go. Let's go look at some more of this stunning place. Look at the ceiling in this place. And it's so cool, you can just ask Alexa for anything you want. Even this is a, ring, a lit mirror. There we go, just tap. Even there, mirror, mirror on the wall. No, no, not me. I love the TV mount on this. It literally looks like a picture frame. I love it, I love it. And then of course, your koi pond is straight down below here. And I bet at night, just having that glow of the water below would look amazing. You have your own living space out this way with a beautiful view. Also, you know, if you want to watch a person, uh, your significant other in the bathtub, you could open those curtains. This is so nice. So nice. I'm loving this place. Everything's velvet, custom made furniture. Look at the smartphone. <laughs> with a screen on it, like a tablet. Oh, and I, I don't know, I'm, they all left now. Um, there's a webcam on there, so I'm wondering if you can 
uh, communicate with the front desk literally by via video phone? Maybe. This bed is enormous, beautiful. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice, guys. The room even has a private uh, balcony going all the way around, like a wrap around. Well, not all the way, I guess, to your window. Isn't this place like one of the coolest things you've ever seen? Oh, that one there is really cool too. See that one? Oh, okay, that's that's the the fish pond, I think. I thought it was a pool, but it looks like a fish pond. Okay, so how many uh, villas do you have here? Oh, right actually, now? we have 10 villas. 10 villas? Yep. And is that the only rooms in the whole place? No, actually, we have the smaller one, the okay. casitas. We have four types of room. Actually, it's six. And then we have another, um, the biggest room for the family room. It's Marchones. Okay. That's four rooms. And then now we are um, um, already uh, launching our new type of room, which the Chayanon okay. have private pool as well. Wow. And what's the total number of people that the hotel can currently... Can accommodate oh, up to 70 packs. 70 people. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, and so you showed me this beautiful room. What is the rate for this room? Oh, this is like seventy-five thousand per night. Seventy-five thousand per night. We have a lot of rooms. Okay. And then we um. Extended yeah, stay stuff yeah. like that too. Yes. Sir. So seventy-five thousand is the list. At peak season, top top uh, price would be seventy-five thousand. Yes. Sir. But there's times and ways to get the price down if you're staying longer. Maybe there's off season. Those kind of things. Yes. Sir. Very good, excellent. Okay, are we gonna see some more some more places? Yes. Fantastic. Alright, so now we're I'm loving this go place. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright, this one is good for four people, and this is called the Monarch Villa. He's telling Alexa to do everything right now too. So it's all gonna happen like magic in a second. Wow, how cool is that? Oh. So this one, as you can see, they have the two beds in here. It's kind of the same floor plan, right? Same size? Okay, fantastic. Straight into the basketball. And so, yes, I was confirmed with that. That is a video link with reception, so you can have uh, video conferencing uh, with them so that you, if you want to, you know, have them explain a little bit better or something like that sometimes seeing them actually might help i don't know if you have the option of turning it off though and not using video because maybe you're like listen i want to close on just to call my front desk so once again you got the bar and everything it's super nice and to the beautiful bathroom here oh that's so cool you can actually hear the tv in here now i was just told something that the other room had this and i didn't realize but the TV turns? You can also watch TV. Watch this. Oh, okay, okay, I want that at home. That's incredible. So you can lay in the bath and you can watch TV. Or, you know, if you have to sit here for a little while, you have everything. So this, in the, oh, the other room, I didn't, I didn't see that. So this is 24 karat gold. Don't steal it, don't steal it. But uh, yeah, so the, the quality of products that are in here, the luxuries, wow, unbelievable. How neat is that? Plus then if you want a mirror, you know, for the bed, you have that too. Man, oh man. So here, the, the, you can't see the koi pond. Where do you see the koi the pond from? Viewing no viewing from here, eh? But you can look down here, I think. Oh yeah, so along your railing in this case. Oh, you have a jacuzzi too? Oh, okay. You have your cabana and, uh, oh, you have a cabana as well?
look at that. It's a good size one. This side is like a, it's literally like a little pool. And the waterfall's start in a minute if we wait around for it, but I think we know what it's gonna look like. This is very nice. They must always, because there's so much trees and flowers here and it is dry season, um, so obviously there will be leaves and flower petals every once in a while, but of course they'll clean it like crazy. Um, it's, the room is obviously vacant at the moment. So beautiful, so beautiful. I like this one. I like this one. I know it has two beds, but I love this. This part right here with that other room. And then of course you have your view of your koi fish right there in a window. And you know what? Come here, Angie. Yes, sir. Angie had to rub it in, okay? If I didn't know, I wouldn't know this, but turns out I could have stayed here last night. <laughs> yeah, I they were waiting stayed. for you since yesterday. There, there was supposed to be me. a room for you for to stay in. Can you imagine? <laughs> I have to come back now. There's a reason. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow. Royal <sighs> Villa. That is the Royal Villa there. We're going higher and higher right now. So up here, as you can see, they have amazing vista views. You can actually even see uh, in the distance there is a nuclear power plant that was unfortunately uh, a failed one that cost billions of dollars and never ever ran. And uh, there's a whole story behind that, but that's not what we're talking about today. Uh, you can see up here, the Vista views are amazing. And so this flat area, they're gonna keep it like this because a lot of the groups want to have tents set up here, um, sunset dinners, those kind of things. And they accommodate all of that. So whatever you want to have up there, no problem, they'll set it all up for you. Okay, we're in a new area now, and I just wanted to point out that when you check in here, you get an assigned butler, including, of course, your rides everywhere all around the resort. You just pick up your phone, say, I would like to go wherever, and uh, they will take you in the cart. So you don't have to actually walk all of this area, it's real luxury. So this is their newest uh, section. They just finished these, by my understanding. Uh, what do you yes. call these? This is Trianon. We have two variants of Trianon. We have the family Trianon and the good for two packs. So these villas are called Trianon. And I, I believe they're, so they're for two people. And I believe they're quite, af they're affordable compared to the others. They're more affordable? Yes, sir. Okay. This is 38000 38,000 per night. So half the price. Yeah. Pretty close to half the price. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, yeah, these are still very, very nice. Even, even though it's half the price, you still get all of the luxury here. Those are your chairs, I think, that get moved outside, correct? Yes. Yeah, by your pool. So they're not normally right there. Again, you have the mirror slash TV that can be flipped and rotated so that you can watch it in your bed. It's a beautiful king size bed. I love this. Look how high that ceiling is. That's a huge coffer in the ceiling there. That's got to be an additional three feet. So beautiful. Even the curtains are full size. And I believe the CR is connected on both sides here. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. And here is the washroom CR. You got the dual sinks. You have again the lit mirrors here. And look at this shower. It's enormous. Oh, once again, a massive coffered ceiling in here as well. This is so beautiful though. Really, really detailed. And you have your own pool right out the back here. And there you go. You got your own seated area, one here and another one here. So it's more like a, a dipping pool. It's quite nice. Looks like you can play the huge checkers over there or chess. And this is so cool. It looks like you're in the middle of, well, I guess France. I was saying Rome earlier, but it's a French concept. Right beside Napoleon as well. And here is, if you have four people, 
wow, it's so much bigger in here. I was quite surprised. Again, with the massive coffered ceiling, huge TV in here. You even get the four robes, four slippers. Two very, very large beds. I think they're queen. Yeah, two queen size beds. And these are your chairs that you'll put out again by your pool. And same, probably set up here. Let's just take a look. Oh, very similar, but this one is not glass enclosed. In this case, there's just a divider there, which is great, but I do love this. Look at this, the rain shower, and I'm six foot four. I fit, no problem. And imagine the water pressure, because it's so close to your head like that, if you're my height, by the way. So as long as you're not seven foot tall, it's gonna be perfect height. By the way, just to give you an idea of what like people come here just to escape and privacy and that kind of thing, um, there are guests staying here. You wouldn't know it, but they stay in their villa, they can have their meals delivered to them um, and to eat right on their patio, that kind of thing. And they just, you know, they're just enjoying and relaxing uh, without wandering around too much. So uh, it may look one way, but I've already seen it myself that people's dishes and stuff like that out on their thing, uh, on their veranda. So now, but though, some of them will choose to eat in the restaurant. We're gonna go see the restaurant. Look at this. I believe that's Michael, Archangel, defeating Satan. Even in here, so opulent, of course. Wow. This is just extraordinary. And I love it. Like they have these, the, the dining room table sort of thing here. But then if you just want to come here at lunch and lounge and have yourself a drink, coffee, whatever you have here. And then of course you have the whole resorts pool. So if you want to have you know, the bigger pool, that kind of thing, where you want to go full swimming. They have like the beds laid out here, beds in the water, and more room to swim in this bigger pool. Outside dining. Nice bar. And once again, like how many times can I mention how crazy beautiful this is? All done by local artists. Tile work, everything. It's so pretty in here. Hello. And can I ask you questions? What kind of food do you have here? Filipino. It's all Filipino food? Yes. Okay. And so what, even breakfast is Filipino food? Yes. There's no American breakfast or anything? I have. I have. You do have? I have, yes. Oh, okay. So there is American breakfast. Now, how customizable is the food? If somebody is a vegan or something like that? American breakfast um, composed of sausage, ham. Yeah. But I mean other meals. If somebody came to the resort and is a vegan, Right, they don't. Chef discretion. So they, so the chef, you do have a chef here yes. that can work a meal plan yes. around whatever you're looking for. Love the cappuccino machine. So beautiful. Thank you. A bakery over here. Yes, they do. My goodness. Now, uh, just to let you guys know, um, you're going to love this part. I didn't encounter a single one. What a shame. What a shame. Look at these paintings. These paintings are 25 feet tall, maybe? It's got to be. Absolutely stunning. You know, that's the thing, like a lot of times they'll be asking for a certain price, but they're not providing you with this level of luxury out of that price. And this place definitely is. They're giving you everything. So welcome to the spa. Or what spa in Leeds? Oh, so you even, there you go, there you go. And I would normally say, uh, there you go ladies, for your nails, but in the Philippines, and I think many Asian cultures, 
It's very normal for men to get pedicures done and manicures done. It's actually a very regular thing here. A lot of times there's actually more men than women getting it done. And here is the spa. So the different body treatments throughout it, massages. Oh, they have the red carpet facial, there you go. But uh, yeah, deep muscle massages can get uh, up to three hours long. Some of them are 60 minutes. Oh, there's a four hour. The Cura Luxury Bliss. So it's like body scrub, massages, everything. And it's four hours long. Often, I'll take the 90 minute one and I'm like, just one more hour, just one more hour. They have it. No guess? No guess, right? Okay. Hey, wow, where do we start? Should we start to the left? Let's start to the left. Hello. Hi, sir. You just sneaked up on me. And yeah, look at this gym. And if you are a heavy weight type person, they don't just have like the treadmill. They actually have here, if you want to do some heavy weight lifting, they got you. Of course, you're still going to have a treadmill and you're going to have a bike. You have a bag here for boxing. You have a multi gym over there more weights for doing curl ups and everything and look at that you got this. it's decent it's decent gym i like the selection so here they have again the sauna which some of the rooms have their own sauna change room separate areas for showering and then also they do have the same high tech shower also in available in here if you don't have one in your room. Treatment rooms and Roman bath. And I guess this is uh, the female side and the other side is the male or one vice versa, I'm not sure. Oh, there it is, the female. Everybody's standing here. I'll go this way. Family room. So therefore, you can get large groups can be massaged at the same time, like three at a time. Usually it's only two, so that's great. And now the Roman bath. And the, you can hear it. It is sounding very peaceful. Wow. This is the hot bath and you can tell so it's red and so here the water is hot now right now they just turned it on for me so it takes a minute so right now it's warm but it is going to get nice and hot for you and then on the other side is the cold bath wow and this, so there's one on each side and this one is supposed to be really cold i think Hence it's blue. Oh yeah, it is colder. Oops. And over here they have the couples room. So for a couples massage, this is where you would get. And then a treatment room in here where they can do the different you know, facials, spas treatments, that kind of thing. And then also the massage. So if you were to have the uh, nine, or 120 minute one, I have a feeling this is the room for you. And unlike a lot of places like this that are super exclusive, um, they are open for day passes. So you can come here just for the day, use the restaurant, the pool, and the spa services here. It's pretty nice. Look at this beautiful fountain here. It, it, I think he's wrestling a horse mermaid that has wings. Because it looks like a tail. I don't know. It's incredible. Perfect. Vindictus. On max. So this was absolutely incredible. I'm so glad they gave me like this all access pass to take out take a look at this whole place. As you can see, I'm sure you'll all agree, like this is a stunning, beautiful mountain retreat where you just go and relax, like shut everything off. Amazing, absolutely stunning place. And they really, really put a lot of effort into this place and continuous effort, which is amazing. Staff have been wonderful, so I want to thank them. Thank you guys. Thank you.
thank you. Well, the tourism people, you, I'll thank you later, okay? But no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. This was, this was really, really, really amazing. So definitely check this place out. Don't worry, if you're looking for a link, there'll be a link down in the description. I'll, I got a business card from them, so I can share it all with you. Uh, let me know if you stay here. I want to hear about it. I want to hear how amazing it was. All right, thank you guys. myself wondering what did happen to the last 10 I ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again